Okay, so I got the white wire coming down at the bottom. I can push that into the box a little bit and resituate it so it's getting pushed all the way back. That's another reason why I like to leave these long because see now it's almost the same size. If I would have cut that short, there's less maneuvering ability that I have. Okay, now I can take this black wire and maybe reposition that one as well back here. Get that all the way into the back of the box like that. See, because that's on that side, so that's pretty good there. Man, that's that's about right. I thought I was gonna have to cut those wires. See how I, I shorten those wires only because I've now got them pushed all the way back in there. So when I get this, I can kind of spaghetti it right in. Okay, now we got to put some little loops on here. Okay, so I've got to put a loop on here to get over the screw, you remember? Now my, um, my strippers here, you see these two holes here? I'm going to take one of those holes. We're going to put it on here. I'm going to let maybe uh, 3 16 or so of it sticking out, maybe a little more, quarter inch or so, okay? I'm gonna take that and roll it up and slide that off, okay? Now, I'm gonna bend that a little bit more, and that's how I want that loop for right now. Okay, so now I can strip this back, and I'm using the number 12 hole still. I wanna strip that back a little bit. Now this one here, I want to strip back further than connecting it with a wire nut because you remember, I got to take this and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to bend those up, but I got to have enough room to do that without the uh, rubber sheathing in my way. Okay, so I want to get that back further. That looks like about right. How much is that? Seven eighths. I think the last time I did it, I did it about an inch. I'm gonna go back just a little bit further. And once you get one, you can kind of hold up the other one and see how much more. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay? But you want it enough, all right? Now we're gonna put it back in that hole. I'm gonna let it stick out, 3 16 or so, and bend that up and pull that off. Now see, I'm gonna to have to bend that just a hair more, and you can put it back in and tweak it a little bit. It's about what I want, okay? I'm gonna do that with this one as well. Bend that up, pull it off. That one went a little better, okay? That's what you want so far. You can do it, I know you can. I always like to start with the ground screw for some reason. I don't know why, but that's just what I do. Okay, now the screw tightens to the right, remember? Righty tighty, lefty loosey. So when I put my screwdriver on there, I'm gonna tighten that up to the right, but I want it backed off as far as possible, these screws. So I got enough room to slip everything in there. And, and that white, that silver screw I had to undo a little bit more, okay? Now, does it make a difference which way I put this loop on? Yes, it does. So I wanna, I wanna twizzle this kinda to the right a little bit. And once I put it on there, I want that to be looped around the same direction that I'm gonna tighten that screw, okay? Because if you do it the other way, it's gonna have a natural tendency to loosen up this as you're tightening up the screw. It doesn't make sense, but you follow this and you'll see, okay? So I put it underneath and slip it over to the right like that, okay? And that loop, now I can grab it and pinch it down. And that's why I got that loop on there, like that, okay? 
See, now that loop is going the same direction as the screw. I'm going to take that, hang on to it, hang on to this, and screw it in. There. There's my ground. Okay. Now, let's work on that neutral screw, the silver screw, which is for the white wire. 